This is Dave at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at a Rockwood Mini Light 2204S. This is a unique model in that it has twin beds. Most Mini Lights have either a queen bed or a Murphy bed that goes up to the wall. This actually has twin beds that you can also convert to a king bed. So this is great for couples, certainly older couples that don't want to crawl over each other. Uh, they get your own bed you can get into and, and make your own way. It's kind of nice. You get a little bit more freedom there. Also a little bit more room to walk around since you can actually walk in between the beds. So uh, this is a great camper for someone trying to keep the weight down. It's just about 5,000 pounds and 23 feet 11 inches from the tip of the hitch to the bumper in the back. Let's take a little walk around, check it out, point things out as we go along. 30 pound bottles in the front power jack these are standard features there's room for two batteries in this battery box as mentioned the camper is about 5,000 pounds dry weight 5,009 in this case it's gonna vary a little bit depending on the options you get or don't get in this case we got slide topper on the slide room this is something you can get from the factory dealers can install it later but uh, we like to get it just straight from the factory anyway. We know we want it, we want our customers to have it, so we like to get them with them. There are three storage compartments on the outside of this unit. This is a uh, large area. It goes across, it actually does go across technically a pass-through, although I'd say it's a kind of a um, semi-pass-through since it's just a smaller area there. That's actually where you'd walk that's why they're, that's separated like that. That's why you can't see there, because that's uh, where you're walking in the camper. A tall storage compartment. You see this kind of storage in some other mini models, but it goes way up there. And then on the other side, this is right near the entry door. Basically the same thing as the other side. And you can see that just over there. So potable water fill right here. Just gravity fill, you stick a hose in there. That's where you empty it. Pull that white valve to empty the fresh water tank. Goodyear tires, torsion Torflex axles, independent suspension, much smoother ride going down the road than leaf springs that you find on a lot of, a lot of other travel trailers. Black and gray tank, easy access handles. You don't have to crawl under there to get them. Standard stabilizer jacks, these are the uh, manual ones. I prefer these personally, just a personal preference. All you need is a cordless drill with a three quarter inch socket, it makes easy work of them. And if you bend them by accident down the road, uh, easy and cheaper to replace than the uh, electric ones, but electric ones are an option if you don't wanna deal with all that. You can just press a button. Six gallon gas electric water heater, 30 amp service. Water hookups are in the back corner near the ladder. City water. Black tank flush and antifreeze inlet for easy winterization. Outside shower access, hot and cold. Comes out about three feet. Spare tire is standard, as is the receiver hitch rated for 300 pounds. Ladder supports 250 pounds. Power awning with the LED light strip, outside speakers. This is a rail for the outside gas griddle. TV mount. Large grab handle, latch for the door. And on the mini lights, as in the ultras and the signatures, we have an enclosed underbelly. Same on the roofs too. Tank heaters are standard. Let's head inside and check out this floor plan. One of the things I love the most about this floor plan is this extra space you have to walk around. Usually in a, in a mini light like this, you either have a bed, a stationary bed that's gonna be occupying this space, or you can have a Murphy bed. With the Murphy bed, you do get a sofa, but even with the sofa, it's gonna stop probably, oh, probably about, about here, and then you don't have any more space other than the sofa space. But here you can actually walk all the way down here have that little counter space between the beds and you get just a little bit more extra floor space to move around in so if you're okay with the twin bed setup and leaving it like that you do get that advantage in this model you get that 
uh, extra room to walk around and when you're in a camper this size every little bit you get really matters so if you don't need to be in the same bed um, you got this option but what's really cool about this particular model is if you want to just have one giant king bed to share you can do it let's check that out I know it looks a little weird with the plastic but you get the you get the picture here with one giant bed so I think that's pretty pretty awesome. You have that choice. And you don't have to put anything on underneath these mattresses. They're set up so that the bottoms are hard, so that they sit, uh, they rest on the supports between the two beds. Something I just noticed when I pulled this, when I pulled the shade down, Rockwood is pretty smart here. So normally what would happen is when you get the shade down, it would just kind of hang like that just hang and kind of get in your way when you're sleeping right there but they've added magnets just like on the outside compartments you now have magnets here to hold this against there so that you don't have to worry about waking up in the middle of the night and hitting your head on a shade but that's a nice little clever touch good job rockwood and these windows on either side do open so you'd get a nice cross breeze the next thing that I really love on this camper is the theater seat setup. This is an option, or actually it's probably standard. Oh boy, I'm, I'm certain that the theater seats are standard because they're so popular. Rockwood just went ahead and made them standard. When so many people order them, that's what they do. You can also get a hide-a-bed here in this space. What I love about this particular setup is normally with a theater seat, I notice that it's just kind of crammed in there. Not a lot of room to do much. Not, not any storage options other than maybe behind the theater seat, but in this case, you have some room behind, but you also have room on either side. I just put that table like that. It's not really a great, you know, forever home for that table, but it's good for, for now spot, as my wife would say. And over here is the griddle. So there's actually a little bit of room to store things or stuff things on the sides or behind that theater seat. And the theater seat itself reclines. It has a center console, a couple of cup holders, and outlets, USB charge ports. Once again, some nice touches that Rockwood has included here. And this is the lighter option. You can get a darker color, the chocolate interior uh, furniture color. This is also the lighter cabinetry, the Newport Ash. So this is the lightest interior option you can get currently. 12 volt fridge, 11 cubic foot is standard. Along with that comes a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. And there's a thousand watt inverter with the camper. Here's your control panel and the um, solar Panel. This is just showing you, you know, what your battery power is currently, how much um, energy is being created by the sun on the solar panel. I love that you just put your hand in front of it. Oh, turns on, you got lights. It's telling me that the interior lights are on, the bedroom's on. And same thing with the water pump, water heater. You know, you press it, it lights up, and then you know it's on or off, and then you have your tank levels and your battery power as well. This can also uh, connect to your phone with the WeRV app. Control the slides, control the lights, control the awning right from your phone. Also some great videos on there to answer a lot of questions. This television does come out and swivel. So if you wanna watch it from bed, you can, or you can just watch it right from the theater seats. Counter space is always a premium in these units. So Rockwood decided to add a little extra uh, counter space, uh, counter top uh, extension that flips up so you get a little bit extra. Standard oven, three burner cooktop, microwave as well. 15,000 BTU AC is standard on the mini lights. Corner bathroom, you got the corner shower, porcelain toilet. Plenty of leg room. It's not a huge bathroom, but plenty of room for what you need to do in there. A little bit of storage. And speaking of storage, that'll be the next thing we check out. One thing I noticed right away looking at these storage compartments is that Rockwood wants to give you the option. If you want to have 
pantry space, you got plenty of that. If you want to have shelving, you can. But if you need more uh, wardrobe space, you can take these shelves out, hang your clothes there. So you have that wardrobe space. It can even double as a pantry and a wardrobe. And there's another, the this uh, storage space here does the same exact thing. I don't usually see two in one unit, but in this case there are two because they want to give you that choice. You have the freedom to decide if you want wardrobe space or if you want pantry space. Bathrooms, got some nice storage in there with the shelves. A little bit there under the sink. Medicine cabinet up top. Kitchen, three drawers, and like for sponges and soap or whatever you need there. And then above the theater seat, this just goes across. Goes right across all the way. And then above the beds, those cabinets, and a little kind of a nook there for shoes and stuff that goes uh, pretty far in. Other side of the sink, just a little bit extra. Let's check out what this unit looks like with the slide in. All right, the slide room is in, and you can see that there is some room to get to the bathroom. Now, if you were um, heavy, heavy person, and uh, you yeah, you might have a little trouble getting in here. I am not the skinniest person by any means, but I can pretty easily get in uh, to this bathroom. There's a shot of the shower, and it was closed earlier. So yeah, you can you can get into the the bathroom with the slide closed. Just understand it's going to be eh, probably about a third of the way open instead of fully. Beds, of course, get to those, and they're not on a slide room, so you can get on those and not have to worry about causing any damage to the slide room, even when it's closed. So um, the only thing you really can't get to with the slide room closed on this model is the refrigerator. It does block the refrigerator. It's on the other side of the slide there. So that would be the only thing you really can't get to, but access to the bathroom, access to the beds, most important things. So this is the 2023-2204 Rockwood Mini Light. This can be ordered, expected in about three months. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.